What's going on boxing fans? It's Jordan Williams with The Distance. I have a video for you guys today. I didn't want to make a video today, but I just saw a matter that was quite interesting. Juwan Guzman does not make weight for the second time in his career. This is ridiculous. Let me tell you guys the, stip the stipulations if you haven't heard about it. Golden Boy comes in after Guzman does not make the weight before he comes in nine you know after he comes in nine pounds above the weight limit they come up with the stipulation of well this is what we'll do we'll weigh in again on Saturday and we'll make and we'll do this we'll have Guzman come in under 150 pounds and Funika comes in below 145 pounds how odd and how ridiculous does that sound um, a catch weight basically or for a championship fight for a lightweight championship fight a catch weight where two fighters have to be below certain weights and honestly that's unfair that Guzman one got a title shot that more than likely kind of didn't deserve and two that he continues to come in below the weight limit I mean, above the weight limit, excuse me. Now, why does Funika have to conform to these plans? Why does he have to come in below Guzman? Why does he have to work hard and make 135 pounds and Guzman doesn't? Because it, it was about two, three years ago when Guzman was fighting at 130 pounds and making the weight. But when he moved up to 135 pounds, he didn't make it. He, he was like 138 when he came in against Nate Campbell and the fight didn't happen of course and what's odd is he came in another fight I believe later 2008 came in another fight came in 135 pounds came in in November against against Funika 135 pounds in this fight 144 pounds five months later and in boxing it's your job to stay in shape it's your job to know how high you can go in between fights and it's your job to know you know the limitations of where your body can go and apparently Guzman fails to do this so why is so tell me this why is this fight still gonna happen when one man can win the championship and the other man can't when the when the man who's gonna have the the weight advantage in this fight the man who didn't pretty much who pretty much didn't do all the hard work you know is fighting basically for no reason when he's getting a lot of his fight purse taken away from him and you know if he wins the, the title goes vacant and we're gonna and more than likely we're gonna see Funika in this situation again possibly fighting for another champ for another IBF championship so I hate to say this, but I honestly hope that Ali Funika wins tonight and we can finally get an IBF lightweight champion that we haven't had in perhaps a year. And Guzman, honestly, to be quite honest, I don't care what happens to Guzman because he, one, he didn't do the work the hard work to try to make the weight and Funika one is a very tall man he's very tall he's about 6'1 six, 6'2 six, so making 135 pounds you know has to be hard especially if you're coming in rehydrating at 150 so you know I really hope that Funika pulls it off tonight I hope he wins the IBF lightweight championship and Guzman like I said I don't care what happens to him um if he gets knocked the fuck out, he gets knocked the fuck out. You know, if he if he gets out box, whatever. I don't care what happens to John Guzman in this fight. And other than that, it's gonna be interesting to see how now with the routines being thrown off, it's gonna be interesting to see um how this fight plays out now. But anyway, I don't care what anybody has to say about this or whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just here giving my opinion. But anyway, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.